All right, hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, this time Saiken so cannot give an intro on the Geoscape. We are directly in the defense of uh, the Avenger, we've been shut down, mission number 50, coincidentally. Um, yeah, this is the prize, so to speak, if we make it there, but we can already see there are quite a few obstacles. I've uh, opted for the uh, rather lame but still effective method of uh, sneaking there and just try to destroy that thing. Uh, that's a problem. Listen, we're going to move in further. An alien scouting party. That was lucky, but we knew no one was here. And thankfully, we can almost see it. I took the bond mate with us just to get a little bit faster. Sniper. Let's do this. Hey, Ward, who can? But we can't move and shoot. Unfortunate. Mm. What we can try to do, though, is to get that heavy mech here. And just waste some time. Come on. Okay. Unfortunate. Can't get through. Very unfortunate. I think there is actually an advantage of not triggering the enemies right away. Might be counterintuitive, but we What's over there? we should be fine without um, technical protocol for now. Heading it means out. so that we're heavily indexing on that right hand side. Uh, left hand side but yeah you get what I um, what I mean focusing on one side and one side only well that big bug unfortunately is moving forward yeah yeah we triggered another attack okay Just a normal everyday problem of too many enemies. Luckily, we have some of the turrets Commander, which are helping us. Taurus is here, not bad.
Good, that plus this here. Dealing a lot of damage. I like it. All right, the warrior. The good old warrior. Before we get to the warrior, though, let's just remove cover. make a couple of things unmistakably clear. We're not going to bow to any of uh, the chrysalids. Forget about that. Oh, I thought we could shred him. Well, never mind. Um, yeah, let's start with actually getting the chrysalids down. The turrets are so good. 11 points of damage. Mwah. Their weapons are upgraded automatically. And I mentioned it a couple of times. Defense metrics, one of the best and most underrated buildings in the entire game. Trust me. It is incredibly good. Four turrets, doesn't cost a lot. Can be built relatively uh, quick early because uh, the uh, programmers already assumed you might be in trouble and then you're uh, uh, trying to build it can be built relatively quickly it costs almost no resources And it gives you two, uh, four turrets, respectively four upgraded turrets, which is extraordinarily good. So yeah, a lot of people are sleeping on it. I personally can't understand that. I just look at that damage. We got a heavy mech there. Confirmed. Sona moves up. And begins to shred that heavy mech and the others, of course. Now we're going to use Mimic Beacon. Not wanting to cluster up too much. We're focusing on getting that thing down. And mimic beacon into the open. There we go. Good job, Noxus.
Another group comes in. Alright, Archon definitely wants uh, to let us lose this mission. No shit, Chen! Thank you for that little introduction into the actual loss condition of this campaign. I won't let that happen though, at least not as easily. Good. Let's do Let's do this into a nice uh, a nice explosion there because the chameleon will scatter. That should be a double whammy. You can't explode mines, I've already found that one out, but if someone moves... Exactly. And then the consequence is another explosion. going to use another mimic beacon okay shogoth fair enough A bit more support. Let's move already. Same moves over here. Nice little extra damage.
Can we kill this? Oh, nice. Okay. Target destroyed. Excellent work, Menace One Five. Shen, what's our status? Whatever it was, destroying it seems to have lifted the destruction field. Engine control systems are coming back online. We should be clear to take off within 60 seconds. Better. We can take off on your order. We should get the squad on board and get moving. Yeah, I agree, but before we do that... Let's kill the enemies. Shock Earth is down. over here you know I mean zone suppression wouldn't hit both but we can definitely suppress that heavy mech here unfortunately a miss which means we can't fully kill it okay well not good I'm going to take some damage, but I don't think that anyone will necessarily die. Well, I say that now. It's always interesting that the reinforcements uh, are just coming. There isn't much that you can do about it. Micro missiles. Could be worse. Unfortunately, the micro missiles removed uh, suppression. That means there are potentially more micro missiles. Don't want to trigger these guys. A patrol is up wind. Good. Watch my back. We just need a little bit longer. Emergency 8 into sonar healing. Adrenaline rush into self healing. using our last grenades because after this uh, round I'm pretty sure we don't need them anymore shredding and hitting Good, so that chrysalid is down. Great. Let's get the max down. Very good. Moving our target location. 
Sona moves up. We're removing even more of the potential cover. Advanced teamwork into dual strike. That gets rid of the purifier. Shogo this down. here and the kill on the drone well that didn't even require dual strike I know there is another chameleon right here can't do much about it though What we can do is <clears throat> just get everybody out this round. Pretty much ignore the enemies, get out and save the campaign. To be entirely honest, I was uh, expecting this mission to be much, much harder after uh, the portal mission. I was under the impression we would just get four or five packs in the first round. This here is quite mild, all things considered. that hostile target that you were talking about. Zero soldiers left behind, take care, and we're done. Wow. Good, this campaign had it all. Thick battles against the Chosen, just a hive completely overtaking. Alien rulers that were too strong to get them down. Getting shut down with the Avenger. Good, chemical warfare. Now I think I will use... Mm. Incendiary grenades, acid grenades, gas grenades. Yeah, we are not using either of those to be honest, so it doesn't really matter. I like the unbreakable, which is great, but we want to spend our points for someone else. The, uh, the prime team mainly because that's our only power grab that we have left 
so yeah that actually went surprisingly well we got more supplies there but i would like to continue getting intel at this point missions are more of a distraction than a support and i have the sincere hope that we get not a lot of missions okay so we had um, dodge plus nine the recruit can definitely use some more dodge anderson could use a bit more dodge but um, but we will get yeah so let's use lyrical put this in here available scientist again seven days and we should be fine also gives us intel on top of it Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support easy Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the avatar project we're going to slow them down we'll need to move fast Good. More intel. I don't need the loot, really. We got enough intel to technically make contact, right? Right. Um, but do we want to? Do we want North America? You know what? I mean, hmm. I want to save some more intel. Just in case we're losing a continent bonus. Because the ones that we do have are quite good. And it is very likely that we're going to miss a mission or two. Plus I need intel for the network tower. It would be embarrassing not to be able to do that. Hmm. Feral Hive. I already know that I don't want to play this mission. Hidden event. Chrysalid Broodmother. Well, fuck our life. That is not good. And <laughs> neutralize field commander. Not great either. This might be the best one best shot that we have at this point i'm not even trying anymore to um to uh, to select something that uh, that will give us a huge bonus at this point i'm just trying to uh, not lose territory so this year one problem that i do see is both uh, have network towers uh, and a network tower here as well Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to do this uh, mission, but I'll figure out the details until the next time. Uh, how far are we? Sonic Gate, four days, so I need to survive that. And then it's another 10 days for the Avatar, pro uh, Avatar research. That uh, should be doable. I mean, we would be losing some of our territory, but it's not the end of uh, the uh, end of the world uh, if that would have happened. Yeah, I think that's fine. Do we have any more upgrades? Any power grabs that we could take? No, the answer is no. Do we have anything? Well, that's not a bad one. I know that the Hive Warrior tech was good. So now that we do have a Hive Warrior Corpse, might as well build it. That PCS actually was quite good. Uh, might be something for our uh, Prime team. Yeah, and that's pretty much all of the power grabs that we could uh, take. That's the end of today's mission. A short one after we had a very long mission the last time. Uh, but we successfully survived. Next time we're going to go into a... 
resistance uh, mission in the hopes of not losing it won't be the main team i would think uh, the b team is going to take uh, take on another mission they're a good uh, as well so it'll spice it up and i also need the main team to be ready for a little bit later good thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed it uh, leave a like and a comment down below uh, elsewise a ufo will come and also harass your backyard and believe me unless you do have a sniper that won't be too uh, helpful or too nice for you take care and see you bye bye